Hello my wonderful little oddballs, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Apologies if the glare from my glasses is blinding you a little bit, but I need to be able to see. So I'm about to pack yet another suitcase because in a few hours I'm heading to Sri Lanka and I haven't started packing yet. There is nothing quite like procrastination. Since I really need to start packing now anyway, I thought that I would just whip out my camera and make another pack with me video so you guys can see what I'm gonna be throwing in my suitcase. This is gonna be my first time in South Asia, so I'm not an expert, but I have done my research and I am very excited. I'm going to a land where elephants roam free and my soul is singing right now. I really don't have time to ramble anymore. We're just gonna get into it because girl, you're on a deadline. So I've decided that I'm gonna take old Betsy with me again. I know that this is a pretty hefty suitcase to take for a week, but even though I think I could probably fit everything in my little suitcase, I'm pretty convinced that I'm gonna pick up a lot of souvenirs, so I want the space to bring them all back. So first things first, I'm gonna get my clothes packed, and as per always, I'm gonna be using my e-bags packing cubes. I mean, I'm not gonna have another rant about how much I love these, but I love them so much. They are so handy and convenient. If you do not own packing cubes, how do you even go anywhere? I don't understand how you live your life. Today, I also have my new packing cubes. These ones are from Sun Tribe Travel and I have a variety of sizes, but honest to goodness, I love the e-bags more. I mean, it is turning into a rant about packing cubes. I apologize, but it needs to be said because even though these are really great and the different sizes are useful, the quality on these is so much better. Okay, so this is the pile of clothes I'm taking along with the stuff that is hung up on my wardrobe there. I felt like when I was choosing clothes to take with me, this felt like way too much. For a week it, I was just like where do you think you're going that you need all this stuff but then I saw how much my roommates were taking and it made me feel a lot better because I have like a third of what they have so I can live with that I just really like to travel light because it makes life so much easier so I always like to put the heavy things at the bottom of the packing cube so in this case it's gonna be my denim shorts I have two pairs blue and like a pale pink. Then I have some black leggings to take with me because who doesn't love a pair of black leggings? And then I have three little cami tops that I'm just gonna roll on up and pop in there. I like to roll because I can't fold. I definitely get the vibe that it's going to be very casual in Sri Lanka, so that made it a lot easier to pack. I didn't feel like I had to take you know, fancy night outfits and then casual day outfits. I can just kind of mix and match and use everything for a little bit of everything. Um, so that's making life easier. I'm a little bit concerned about the weather because it looks like it's gonna be nice and hot, but it also says that it's gonna rain for the entire time we're there, which definitely makes packing a little bit trickier. Okay, then we have things that are liable to crease which freaks me out because I'm not good at folding and I don't think our hotel has an iron. So I have this really thin cotton summer dress, ditto cotton summer dress. I have this uh, like cover up thing. I have a play suit, another cami top, and then a dress to throw on over my bikini when I go to the beach. I'm hoping that the humidity is just gonna air all the creases out maybe. Then I have my super awesome Game of Thrones pajamas that are gonna go in. So I've packed all of my clothes into their packing cubes. I've got a lot of space in this one, which worries me because I'm convinced everything is gonna get creased. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can squeeze some underwear into here or something just to bulk it out a little bit, but this one is looking good. Okay, next I have a couple of tablets to pack, you know, just in case I get sick. So I'm gonna use this little pouch and I'm gonna take some paracetamol, some cold and flu tablets because I'm feeling a little bit bunged up. I don't feel great. So I'm gonna pop all those in there. I'm gonna take some bee pollen in case my allergies start acting up because there's no greenery in Kuwait. So my hay fever has been great, but I don't know if that will extend to Sri Lanka. So I'm gonna take those just in case. 
My iron tablets, very important, so that I can actually survive this trip. Good to go. So the thing that always weighs me down the most when I'm packing is my toiletry bag because I can re-wear outfits, I don't care, I can mismatch a little bit, I'm not bothered, but I just need to have all my hair care products or I can't function as a human. So that's that. Here's what I am taking in terms of toiletries. Some of them will have to go in the case last minute because I also need to shower before I leave. I don't know where I think I'm going to get this time. but. Hey, so like my shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, uh, face soap, all of that stuff will go in later. But for right now, I have my anti-humidity spray, cannot go anywhere without this, my argan oil, my split end remedy, some heat protective spray because I'm gonna pop in my curlers. I've got two different types of bug repellent because I'm allergic to bug bites so I really need to not get bitten. I have a teeny tiny shower gel. I also have my, what is this, sun cream, deodorant, face sun cream, because regular sun cream, when I put it on my face, breaks me out in this hideous rash. So I have this number seven, protect and perfect factor 50, and it's amazing. I have my aloe vera jelly by forever, and this can cure all ailments. So if I get a sunburn, if I get bitten by something, if I cut myself, this fixes everything. And then I have contact lenses, hair ties, bobby pins, all that kind of stuff. So I need to pop that all into one place and stick that in the case as well. Okay, so I've managed to get all of my toiletries and my tablet bag in here with a little bit of space left over for my shampoo and conditioner, except I'm taking these toiletries in my hand luggage bag. Because we're having a night flight, I want to be able to brush my teeth, stick on some deodorant and some bug repellent as soon as I get off the plane. I'm going to take three bags with me. I'm going to take this, which is not attractive and is so grimy and dirty, but it's just served me so well over the years. It's got all these different pockets. Oh, it's got stuff in. Okay, cool. Um, it's got all these different pockets and compartments and it's just really durable. So I like to take that when I'm traveling. I'm also taking this little over the shoulder bag which is a little bit nicer, but again, this one has lasted me years. I don't have a beach bag per se, so I'm just gonna take one of my canvas shopping bags for when I go to the beach or down to the pool. Also I wanna take my goggles cause I wanna go, I don't know, swimming in the sea or something. My curlers need to go in as well, and my makeup bag too. I have these plug adapters, which I bought to come to Kuwait, but it turns out they use the same plugs in Kuwait as they do in the UK. So I'm hoping these work in Sri Lanka because it says Asia and the Middle East, and they haven't worked in the Middle East, so I'm gonna give Asia a go. If not, I'm not gonna use any electricals for the week, apparently, because this is all I have. I'm also gonna pack a box of Belvita breakfast biscuits because we don't have breakfast included in our hotel, and I am always hungry. So now we're just playing a little game of packing cube Tetris. Okay, everything is pretty much in except for those last few toiletries. I'm taking three pairs of shoes, trainers for when I climb that ridiculous rock, flip-flops for the beach, and then sandals, which I'm gonna wear on the plane. And I don't have anywhere near as much room left as I thought I would. I have way more stuff than I expected. Probably because I have like 15 kilograms worth of toiletries and makeup. And hey, that's just how I live my life, okay? Now I'm just gonna pop everything into my hand luggage and then I should be pretty much good to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my handbag as my hand luggage bag and if you saw that what's in my hand luggage video that I did before Christmas, the things that I'm gonna take are gonna be very, very similar. So obviously I've got my document wallet with my passport. Is my passport in here? No, it's not. Okay, so gonna put the passport in the document wallet and that's got like my frequent flyer cards, my currencies, everything important. So we don't want to lose this. Then all of those toiletries that I said I was gonna take on the plane are gonna go in my clear plastic bag. Then I'm gonna take a book to read on the plane. I'm gonna take my earplugs because it's the night flight and I'm gonna attempt to get some sleep. And then I also have my earphones and then one of these little thingamabobs that you plug in to listen to music or films on the flight. 
sometimes you need these to make your earphones work and sometimes they charge you for them so I just find it easier to just take it with me then I'm gonna take fluffy socks and my inflatable travel pillow for comfort then I also have an empty water bottle just because I find it easier to have a big water bottle that you can fill up rather than taking a bunch of little ones around with you all the time. I tried to order one of those water bottles that has like a built-in filter so that you can drink the tap water because I hate buying bottled water. It's so bad for the environment. But Amazon just never delivered it. So that was great. So I'm just gonna take my ordinary one and just deal with it. And then the last things I'm gonna throw in are a really thin blouse because I'm probably gonna wear a jumper like this on the plane because planes are always freezing, but then when I get off the plane, I don't wanna, you know, melt. And then I'm also gonna throw in my raincoat because, like I said, it's probably gonna be raining when we get there. So those can go into my hand luggage too. Sorry that this video got a little bit rushed towards the end, but if I actually wanna make it to Sri Lanka, then I really need to hop in the shower, get dressed, and like get out the door. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like pack with me videos, cause I've done quite a few now, and if you don't like them, then you must be like, stop making them. So hopefully you like them. If you do, then please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you who have, don't forget, you are my odd balls and I love you. But until next time, I hope you all have an amazing week. Hopefully I don't get rained on too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, 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 so much. And I really need to go now. So goodbye.